All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get started with um, Clicky Web Analytics. And Clicky is a great website to get started tracking various things um, on your website. Very easy to get started. Uh, the basic account is free. Well worth it. I recently got it on my sites, and I really enjoy it. Um, so the first step is to go to Clicky.com and click this big Register Now button. And then you'll just fill all this out, um, which I you want to track, your name, your email. I've already got all this set on my site, so um, I'm not going to do it again. Um, so it's pretty self-explanatory. And go ahead and do that. And I'm going to pause the video and show you where you end up. Okay, you should have uh, filled out that form, gotten logged in. Um, so now you'll be on a screen that looks like this. And um, I'm going to add a new website, so I'm going to click on Add New Site. And let me go ahead and add my new website. Hit submit. Um, you can pretty much leave the settings the same. Um, I usually don't change these settings. The main one to change would be time zone. Um, the clicky starts in Eastern time. I believe they're based in uh, Oregon. Um, so if you need to change that, you can change it. Um, there also is an option. Um, a few different options on how the account looks. Um, so I'm going to leave everything the same and hit submit. And here's the big one. You need to grab that tracking code. Um, also decide if you want the affiliate badge. Um, that's just a little button that goes in the bottom of your website. Um, if people sign up through that link, you do get um, a small commission. Uh, but I'm going to leave it disabled in mine. Um, and what you need to do is copy this into your website template or um, have your web designer do it. And they also have all kinds of different plugins. And if you're using WordPress or something like that, you can um, look at their different plugins. I'm just going to use the basic tracking code. It makes it a lot easier. Um, so I'm going to pause it a second, install that tracking code, be right back. Okay, now I have it installed. And as you can see, um, it's still showing zero um, because I haven't looked at my site yet. So. Typically what I'll do is I'll go and actually look at the website um, to make sure it's installed correctly because um, sometimes these things don't end up installed the way you think they are. Um, Clicky is interesting because by default if you're logged into the website it won't show your visits um, by the actual website owner which is actually a good thing um, because you don't want things getting tracked, you know, you don't want your updates to the website being tracked as, as logins. Um, you just want visits that are actually from other people being tracked. So that makes a lot of sense. Um, so I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to look at the website, make sure things correct. Okay, I went into private mode. Um, so when you check your own website um, to verify that it worked correct, um, make sure to go into private mode. Like I said, it, it won't measure it. Um, I went to private mode, and as you can see now, um, it did track me. Um, so then you click on visitors. There it is showing up. And I'm going to just change the settings here. Um, and you click on visitor log, and then click unique ID where it says this. Um, I'm going to add that uh, so that way if I see these in the reports um, it's just changing the settings a little bit so now if we go back to the visitor log it shows that oh that's just me testing that those aren't actual visitors this is an extremely handy feature to have on here and um, I've used a lot of other tracking tools and a lot of times you know I'm not sure if, if that visit was for me or if it's an actual um, visitor to my website and so now I know that when I see these on my reports um, from when I had logged in and uh, uh, yeah, in a mode where um, I was called privacy mode um, where I'm just testing that when I see those on my reports that I know those are just the testing visits um, so those, that's the basic of getting um, Clicky signed up and the tracking set up. Um, in the next video, I'm going to go a little more in depth in exactly how to use it and what to do next.